Hey guys, Aaron Teal here with Intune Marine, and welcome to the Advantage Series. We're a multi-line dealer, whether it's fishing boats or pontoons, we carry some of the top brands in the industry. We're gonna walk you through these boats inside and out, showing you some of the finer details. Let's get started. Today is an exciting one. I'm standing in front of the all new 2023 DV20 from Camus Boats. This is a new boat in the 20 foot class and we're super excited to add it to our lineup for a multitude of reasons. But uh, without further ado, let's look at this thing. So Earl Benz has really established himself as a legend in building boats the right way and build some of the best design hauls we've seen in the marketplace. And this thing is, is really no, no shortage of that. In fact, this is some of the best stuff he's ever come out with. A, they're building saltwater boats. B, they've got years of experience building that multi-species segment. So what they've done with this DV20 is they've really combined what they've learned from both the saltwater and freshwater market to make a truly ultimate ride experience in this boat. Now, what attributes make it that way? Well, I'll tell you the number one thing Earl's always incorporated into his boats is good dead rise and really you know, a good chisel running from bow to stern. So this pad or that V of the boat is really carried throughout the whole thing. Um, you'll notice at the bow here that it's a real nice chisel and there's really good reverse chines down here that really throws water away. And uh, the big thing with this boat is that bow is gonna be easy to lift and control in rough water. And this boat's extremely easy to drive. We got a little bit of a chance to do that here this past summer and truly awesome stuff there. Walking towards the back, probably one of the biggest attributes of this haul is gonna be the wider running pads. So this is something they figured out in both the saltwater and freshwater segment. And what a wider running pad is gonna do for you is A, it's gonna add stability. If you're crossing boat wakes or running, you know, let's say quartering waves or running with a trough. And the other thing it's gonna do is it's gonna carry weight better. So if it's just you and another guy, versus you and three other guys full of tackle, you're not gonna see as much performance variance between those. And the other thing, fast and insane acceleration with this boat. So you can see there's not a ton of setback here. So when you talk about a hull, this hull is truly a 20 foot platform and is gonna ride like, like such. Now, a few things you can add to these boats to really even improve upon the performance is trim tabs. So they offer both manual and automatic trim tabs. These are the Lenco manual trim tabs, but they also offer a pretty sweet auto trim tab option as well. Standard is a, a manual jack plate, but you can also upgrade to a hydraulic. But ultimately, this hull is a water-eaten machine. Whether you fish Erie, Leech Lake, this hull is gonna get you where you need to go. It's gonna protect your back, it's gonna protect your body, it's gonna be easy to control and give you years of fun on the water. So Earl Benson and his team, they've got over a thousand years combined experience building boats and they really are kind of like a if it's not broken, we don't fix it. And they've really perfected the process of a hand laid hull. So this is gonna be a hand laid hull, but one thing that Camus does that's a little different than maybe some other companies is they actually really beef up their glass on these multi-species boats, you know. They understand that you're gonna take these on bigger water, you're gonna put these through the ringer. So they, they built these and beef them up like a brick shit house so that you can take those waves and this boat is built to last the test of time. But there's a bunch of little stuff on this boat that I did want to talk about specifically here. They've got a really cool rear access panel here. So there's going to be a few features with this. But the big thing is after a long day fishing, if you're trolling or, you know, bouncing in three, four foot waves all day, you get pretty tired and climbing in and out of this sucker, it, you know, gets a little daunting. So it's really nice. They put this here. You've got a, a jump feature uh, here, master cutoff for your cranking battery and house battery. Uh, you've got clean power here to the depth finder. Uh, so an individual cutoff for that. 
remote drain plug. You can cut off your trolling motor batteries here as well and plug your boat in all in one spot. So really glad they put this in their boat and uh, it really just adds to a seamless experience. But we're about to step inside this boat. Let's take a peek at some of the interior features and awesomeness in this new DV20. So this DV20, the cockpit, it's huge, it's industry leading, and it's versatile. So the first thing you're gonna notice when you get in this boat is, my goodness, there's like wide open space in here. And that's with these storage pods. So you can order this boat a few different ways. How we're showing it here is ordering the boat with the two rear storage pods. Now, these storage pods, they're removable. So if you wanted them glassed in, you can order them glassed in if you put it in the special notes, but What's really cool about the boat is you can get this boat with these jump seats and these storage boxes. If you've got the wife, kids, and a family out with you, you can pull these storage boxes out. So you've got really good fasteners down here. So if you unscrew these, like so, it makes it really easy to move these storage boxes in and out of the boat. So, you know, we just set that out of the way. It's very nicely finished there. And we've got an open cockpit layout. So you can order the boat with the storage pods, without the storage pods, with one on one side, storage pods glassed in or nothing at all. They will customize it exactly how you want it. So pretty cool stuff there from Camus. And we're gonna take this other storage pod out and we're gonna go fish and ski on you and we're gonna check out how much room is there because I think I could uh, maybe dance with a lady or two on this boat. All right, so we removed our rear storage pods and uh, I just wanna show you guys, I'm six foot two and I've got room to spare and you could probably stack like three, four more of these. So. I don't know if they're advertising this as a camper or not, but you could probably use it as one. And as you can see here, when you take those storage pods out, they've got these jump seats that are awesome. You can also get these as storage boxes, but if it's you, the wife, the kids, some friends out, everybody's got a spot and there's plenty of room for activities. Looking in the live well back here, we've got a 50 gallon live well with a divider that you can remove. And then there's a pretty sweet bait prep area here. So if you've got like Berkeley gall bank, kind of messy kind of stuff, they've got a sweet waterproof spot there um, where you can kind of keep stuff prepped, keep stuff managed and uh, manage your fish. Now you're gonna get two fill pumps, two research pumps and two pump outs. There's also an overflow and an oxygenator. So if you're worried about you know, fish dying, I wouldn't worry too much in a canvas. Now Camus, they can rig any kicker you want right from the factory here. We've got a kicker plate here. So this, this boat here is ready for a 9.9 or 15 kicker. We've got our controls rigged up there. And then they've got a really nice spot for a rear pedestal and a ski toe bar. And just the overall width of this rear deck makes a really nice fishing platform, even if you don't have those rear storage pods. But if you're the type of person that wanted a very large, spacious rear deck, get them storage pods. They offer a rear deck insert plus this. You basically got the Bassmaster Classic back here. It's a big multi-species boat. I should have a big multi-species windshield. These guys, there's only a couple companies making beefy windshields right now, and these guys have a sweet innovation with this one. So what you're gonna notice with this windshield is there's billet aluminum grab handles, both on the inside and the outsides here. And what that does, not only does that brace up that windshield and offer superior strength, but when you're sitting in the driver's seat, it's kind of a nice spot to grab to get on up versus uh, fingerprinting that, that nice plexi windshield. 
So awesome stuff there. This grab handle here is pretty nice for that passenger or what, what have you. And it's kind of a sweet badging here with the billet aluminum. Coming to the dash here, when you're driving this vessel, one thing you're gonna notice, there's not a lot of cheap components here. This is a fiberglass dash, so you're not gonna find a lot of plastic on it. And where they've placed things, like this Helix 12 here, is absolutely perfect from a sightline standpoint. And they've added a really nice spot to add a second one. Now this is perfect to put a gimbal bracket right here to have those two graphs side by side. That windshield is plenty of room to have really good sight lines so you're not over the windshield and stuff's not hitting you in the face and you're able to really see where you're going and, and be safe. We've got our trim tab controls right here, right at our fingertips, our jack plate control, our jack plate gauge, and then a Mercury Monitor Digital Smart Craft Gauge, as well as our stereo for the tunes. And then they use high gauge or heavy gauge wire for all this stuff. So they're using copper tin wire and they're really focusing on that clean power, which is really nice to see as a fisherman. So without further ado, let's, uh, let's go check out the passenger spot and then we'll, uh, we'll look in the old front deck. Coming over to the passenger side, you're gonna notice a ton of leg room, lots of comfort, really quality fiberglass and closed glove box here with a phone charger. Plenty of stuff to grab onto. Two cup holders for both of your fists. Awesome rod holders here. And then we've got a tool holder here on this side, but with these rod holders right here for stowing your rods away, they've got a few different things for that. But one thing they're offering right from the factory that we don't typically see from others is a lot of different rail and mounting options for the gunnels for your fishing rods. So you can actually get a few different options. These are the Burt's tracks. So you can either get Burt's tracks in short or long, and then you can get your standard stainless rails in short or long. So really customizable there. If you like rails, they can do it. If you like stainless, stainless rails, they can do it. If you like tracks, they can do it. So coupled with that hull design we talked about, Camus did keep you in mind with adding wave pro pedestals as an option for their boats. So what a wave pro pedestal is, is it's a true snowmobile shock or air shock that's designed to protect your back when you're running in waves. So Honestly, this hull is gonna ride amazing, but coupled with these Wave Pro pedestals, I think it's something you've never experienced before. So awesome, they've incorporated that here. Another thing you'll notice, there's no carpet in this boat. That's right, those 1970 shag carpet days, they're over. Cause we got surf turf, cockpit flooring in here. So this stuff's gonna dry fast, easy to keep clean. No need to grab that shop back. And then their battery box, they put you're cranking in your house battery in easy to grab spot, so no, no more back in the corner playing Django with that right here, along with some nice channels to keep the water off of them. But uh, let's go up to the front deck. So one thing Camus offers that we're really not seeing in, in the industry is a fully padded front deck. Now this is an added option, but if you're fishing on the front deck, this is something we highly recommend. It's something that we've really noticed after a long day of fishing. It seems to make a difference in taking that fatigue away from your back and body. And just, you seem to feel a little bit more alive after a day of fishing with this padded front deck. A lot of manufacturers will only pad this front portion uh, with Camus, they will pad the entire thing. So that includes lids, this front portion, everything. So, you know, you're not standing on concrete or aluminum all day. You've got that nice padding over it. And then walking up to the front here, they've got a lot of electronics options and trolling motor options. So as you can see here, we've got a recessed trolling motor uh, covering board here. If you were to go with say an Altera or a Tarova, uh, but they also, Obviously, you get a recessed foot pedal if you were to go with something like an Ultrex or a Ghost or something like that. We've got a Helix 12 flush mounted up here. They do offer a lot of awesome mounting brackets from the factory. Specifically, if you wanted to run two units up here, they've got Boat Logics as a partner and they've got a really nice dual electronics mount. 
And looking here, it looks like they changed up their switches here for 2023. And, and just pushing on these, these seem just a lot more heavy duty. So it's nice to see them continuing to improve and evolve on that. So you've got control of your live wells here, of your trim. So I can actually hit that trim button with my foot and trim that engine up and down. Uh, I can control my lights and an, another accessory switch. So everything's easy to access here. If you're getting in and out of the boat, there's a really nice ladder here on the front and just awesome stuff from Camus. But let's go see where we put all the goods. We invest a lot of money in our equipment and there's a lot of storage in this boat. Let's take a peek. So looking in the center locker here, the first thing you're gonna notice, it is deep and it is huge. So this locker is designed to fit up to nine foot rods. They put a striker plate on this locker. So if you were to shut that with that latch closed, it's not gonna ding your gel coat. So it's really nice they're thinking of those little things with the boat and then a really nice organizer here. So if you've got some longer rods, they've added a little bit of an extension here for a full nine footer and then you can kind of organize your stuff really nicely here. And they put the trolling motor batteries right under here. So really nice, deep, big center storage box here. And then we'll hop over to this port side box, which can take up to an eight foot rod. So, you know, if you like to put some rods over here, this one here will fit up to eight foot in length. The big thing to note with these boxes is this is finished out fiberglass. So, you know, that costs more in materials and stuff, but it really adds to the fit and finish of the boat and these are closed and there's no carpet in them. So that carpet in, the, in these boxes typically will hold some condensation, moisture, and uh, a rod with a shad wrap or a Bagley crankbait attached to it. So this is really clean, built with fiberglass, easy to clean, easy to organize your stuff. I'll fit an eight footer. So. Another thing to note about the lids here, so they're using aluminum braced lids. They've got a really nice finish on the bottom of these. So a lot of times they won't really finish out the bottom of a lid. These are really well finished. We've got heavy duty gaskets, lid pistons. So the wind's not blowing that back over on your finger. All the good stuff. Hopping over to the starboard side here. We've got a big old cooler that you can fill, you know, a bunch of soda or anything you like to keep cold. Big cooler here and then additional storage up here. This is a great spot to put life jackets, tackle, planer boards, you know, all that extra stuff that you kind of want to keep out of the way fits really nicely up here. And then they've got really good channels to everything. So, you know, this isn't designed to hold water or pool water in. Along with that, these latches are compression latches and they're stainless. So these aren't cheap plastic latches. These are stainless steel latches designed to press down on that weather seal and keep your stuff weather tight, safe, and protecting all that investments you, you've got in fishing equipment because we know we like that stuff. But anyway, this is the inside of the boat. I really appreciate you guys following along with us so far. I do want to touch on the trailer, so let's go there. So Camus, they're using benchmark trailers. The first thing I wanna note about benchmark trailers is these are heavy duty trailers. So they're using a C-channel structure. Advantage of a C-channel to all you late season muskie and wall anglers, it's not gonna hold water. So this trailer isn't gonna rust out like a tube channel or hold that water. The other thing you're gonna notice about this trailer is the paint. The paint is extremely rigid and durable. It's not gonna chip from rocks, it's gonna withstand the test of time. Another thing, they did not skimp out on the winch and jack. So they're using a DLX winch and jack, that's standard. Easy up, easy down, even with these toothpick biceps I got here. So really cranking the boat up and down is easy to do. Winching it up, easy peasy. We got a swing tongue, in case your garage needs it. That step I showed you earlier makes it 
real easy to get in and out of the boat if you're klutz like me. And there's a few different rim options. So this one we've upgraded to the 18 inch wheels, uh, but standard would be 14s and uh, they're both pretty drop dead sexy. But one thing you can know, uh, these benchmark trailers are built to last, built to carry this Camus boat to any place you want to take it. It wouldn't be an advantage series without some measurements and specs. So overall, the overall length of this boat is 20 feet, 11 inches, and the beam is gonna be 102 inches. Max horsepower is gonna be 300 horse, can take a kicker as we know, and then the fuel tank is 61 gallons, will get you here to Indonesia and back. But let's measure this cockpit because we've established it's absolutely huge. So we've got the storage boxes in here right now and we're gonna measure kind of that width or distance between the two storage boxes. Looks like we've got 51 inches there. Now let's, we're just gonna go ahead of these storage boxes and let's say you were to take these storage boxes out and let's look at that measurement. I've got 82 inches on that measurement here. So as we've discussed, this is a huge cockpit. And then as far as a length standpoint, I mean, let's just go from that center, end of the center lock, locker there, the back of that live well, I've got 80 inches that way. If we were to go all the way up to where the driver's legs are gonna be, we've got about 93 inches there. So industry leading 20 foot cockpit, I think so. Let's go to the front deck and look at that. So width at the back of the front deck, okay? So that's gonna be roughly the widest point, about 78, 79 inches. Here at the front, let's look at kind of where that trolling motor is gonna be, measuring that out. Right at the base of that trolling motor pedal, I've got, measure, uh, 56 and a half inches there. And then overall length of this deck, it's a very wide deck. It's uh, roughly 69 inches long to the front of the windshield. And uh, it's a spacious boat, ready for your next fish catch. So these storage compartments are really deep. And if you do go with these rear storage pods, you're, you're gonna find you're gonna be able to fit about 2 million shad wraps in here. But in all seriousness, you know, I've got about 13 inches, 13 and a half to the bottom of this lip. And if you were to able, you would really be able to use about 14 and a half inches of depth here. So these are very deep storage boxes that can hold a lot of your stuff. This live well, it's a 51 gallon live well, and it's uh, about 16 and a half inches to the top. So those fish, uh, they're gonna have plenty of room to swim around in here. And looking at the front deck boxes, they're pretty deep too. Let's check that out. So the depth on this one here in the center box, we've got, we've established it'll fit a nine foot, so call it nine foot long, 13 inches at the bottom of that lip, about uh, 14 and a half inches total max depth on that center box. Looking here in the port side locker, we've got about 12 inches on that and that kind of holds true throughout the whole box. So you're getting deep, waterproof storage, tons of cockpit space. And if there's any other measurements you guys wanted, I, our sales team's very knowledgeable here, 320-685-3410. We got a bunch of these measuring devices here. Happy to get you what you need. All right, so we walked through this boat. We've established this is a very spacious platform years of experience behind this boat company with Earl Benz designing these hulls. We've got innovation on the windshield, a windshield built to last, and so much more. And this boat's sexy. I wanted to talk a little bit about the colors on this boat. So uh, custom color is a little bit of an upcharge, but if you go with that, you can really kind of design this how you want it. This is a really black, black onyx is the main color here with a baby blue pin and gray gel coat accents. And this is truly a one of a kind machine. Um, and it could be yours. It's sitting right here in the showroom. I'm Aaron Teal, you guys. Thanks so much for checking out the Advantage Series. This is the Camus DV20, and we'll see you in the showroom or at the lake.